Okay, so what we're going to talk about right now is how to use Red X uh, and Mojo. So from the main screen, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in the code that you were given to get into the computer itself, which I do not know apparently. Okay, here we go. All right, so. All right, so from here, you'll see on the uh, left-hand side here, we've got Red X, and then we have Mojo, okay? And remember, Red X is the service that provides the actual leads, all right? This is the one that gets the expireds, the canceleds, the for sale by owners, the notice of defaults, things of that nature, okay? So Red X is opening up. Let's see if we can adjust this a little bit here. All right, free upgrade. Okay, uh, they got some bug fixes. Blah blah blah. Do we want to upgrade? Sure, why not? So, Red X is not a dialer. It's actually just the database service that pulls up what it is that is um, available. Okay, so when you're looking to do your calls. Uh, you'll go ahead and hit Red X first. All right. So now it's starting to pull the data from the multiple listing service. Okay. You can see it opens up the database. It's retrieving the listings. There's about 483, I think, that it's working on. It says 483 listings were found that match your search, search criteria. Do you want to sure? Do you want to import and look up? Yes. Okay. You always want to say yes on that. Basically they're doing that because there's just a quick limitation on how much you can do um, per month before they start charging you extra um, in this case you know because we're in Tucson we don't really go over that amount but basically you'll see where it says lookups 277 out of 2000 up here on the right hand side that's because if you had you know over 2000 lookups a month then you know they could charge you a little extra money for that and we never really go over that so okay so here we are um, it's finishing up this screen basically tells you how many they found how many were duplicates how many didn't require lookups etc all right this information is really kind of you know uh, pointless for what we need it doesn't really make that much of a difference okay so we click okay <clears throat> all right so now it defaults to the expired leads section. Let me scoot up a little bit here so you can see this. All right. Now, you have a couple choices. You'll see how it, what it does is it goes through and it checks to see the ones you had before, see if they've been relisted. And in this case, Alder Grove and Kyle and Darrow have been relisted. This little recycled number here, that means it's been relisted okay this icon here and if you forget what these icons mean then the legend is light down right down here on the lower left okay but you can see that this one basically has no homeowners information but they know that it had been relisted uh, this one had no information this little man with a hat on basically means that's the agent's phone number okay so Homeowners, I'm sorry, agents, what they do when their homes are about to expire, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll just take that phone number out of the homeowner and put in their own uh, or just remove it all together so the homeowner doesn't get disturbed and so that you know they possibly could uh, have the chance of relisting it in the future. So this will let you know who the people are, like this is the agent's number most likely. So what we need to do is just go ahead and go here and then just, you know, all you got to do is just put your cursor there okay hold it and let's see, start at the top just hold it drag it down okay delete okay we don't need all that all right now the same thing goes for cancels all right now remember the difference between an expired and expired listing their contract ran out with their agent and they're no longer working together you can go after this client okay withdrawn in this, in this particular circumstance, it means it's withdrawn temporarily. They've been taken off the market temporarily. You can't go after those people. Pending, obviously, you know what that means. Sold, you know what that means. Canceled, these people you can go after, okay? Now, canceled listings are listings that 
for one reason or another the home didn't sell and uh, so the the buyer and the seller I'm sorry the seller and the uh, agent decided not to work together anymore and they uh, canceled the listing put it back on the market I'm sorry is now available for you so what you want to do is you want to organize and make sense of the ones that you know you can do business with so for example here on the left you see right off the bat a lot of these right here have no phone numbers okay uh, we can't really make any use of that so we click onto it hold it drag it down we get rid of that entire section okay delete the next you'll see we have agents names and numbers right so what I do is I just go ahead and I click right up here at the top it's like Excel and it puts them all together right and I get rid of those just like that okay now in some cases you'll see where it says like the owner's name is American Title and Trust 8378 first whatever right now in this case it's first American title that has all this stuff in a trust so we don't really have access to the owner's name the information that you have when you double click it there the information that you have for it is for first American title in Casa Grande all right you could call first American title but they're not going to tell you what the trust information is so obviously that's of really no value to us so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and delete that as well okay Oops. all right delete that now now what we have left okay is these other properties that have been canceled that are not with another agent that are not uh, you know relisted or anything like that so they're good to go okay actives pulls up all the active properties you don't need to worry about this okay oops not the archive for sale by owner all right so for for sale by owners all right what you want to do here is see how it says list price think about it like an Excel when you click Excel it'll put it into order so here it starts off at 19,500 and ends up at 700,000 okay now what I'm going to recommend to you is anything under 65,000 I'm going to recommend that you just delete it right off the bat don't even worry about it okay because there's really no money in it for you all right now you'll see this one is 67 so what I always want you to do is take a look first and see what this is okay because if it's a manufactured home it may not be worth your time so you just go on the right hand side you saw how I've got it over here draw it down okay now 67,000 two bedroom land horse property Marana 5 to 20 acres okay four miles away from Pepper Viner homes blah 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 I'm selling four five acre lots that can be purchased together for the full 20 acres um, owner may carry with 10,000 down let's see here live in a mobile oh yeah there is a 12 by 62 bedroom mobile home available Wow okay yeah uh, no we're not gonna deal with that okay their life is too short to deal with mobile homes all right uh, now we go to the next one uh, 69,000 two and a half acres by owner Panther Butte in Catalina okay um, yeah we don't want land there's so much land right now there's no sense in selling it right so we delete that one next five acre horse property for 85,000 with a double wide okay uh, nope uh, we don't want to deal with that either okay manufactured homes and stuff guys look it's just very hard to finance them and it's really not worth your time okay Camino San Vacas, uh, vacant building lot for sale. Okay, uh, nope. This was uh, three hundred fifty thousand dollars for just land. All right. Uh, again, land is just way too hard to sell right now. Okay, you'll wait forever and you'll starve. All right. So we'll delete that one. Three thousand five hundred eighteen square foot single family lot, or I'm sorry, home for seven hundred thousand. Okay. Now the thing about this one okay seven hundred thousand dollars all right for this particular property um, I'm, I'm tempted to go ahead and just take this one out and the reason why is because while seven hundred thousand is a good price okay it's also pretty high and not many people are buying in the seven hundred thousands right now okay so what I want you to do is if you come across something like this don't delete it 
just let me know and let me make the decision on that one. But I'll go ahead and I'll make the decision on this one and I'll delete it. Okay? All right. Foreclosures. Uh, let's see. On this one, we don't have it on this one. But on the other one that I have on my computer, we, we do have pre-foreclosures and stuff. Uh, so on this one, I'm not sure why it doesn't do that. But I'll have to look into that. Okay. So now, now that we've got the expired listings, we've got the canceled listings, you know, we went to the for sale by owners for the day. We didn't see anything other than that really struck our fancy. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this. And now we're going to go open up the dialer, which is Mojo. All right. Mojo uh, is a three line dialer. All right. And we'll go into that here after a while on another training module here. But let's see the password on this. Um, yeah. What is it? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so when it's doing this right here, you see that this changed color. It's okay. It's it's still loading. It's fine. You got the right code in there. Okay? It's just taking a little bit of time. Okay, so it's loading up from the database exactly what we had before. Okay, remember, it doesn't have all the information saved on there it's a saved on a cloud server all right so you don't need to worry about losing it on the computer itself okay so once we've opened up mojo all right you can minimize it go back down to back down to red x open up red x right and in the upper left hand corner you'll see a little phone thing that says mojo sync right Click Mojo Sync and it'll say, okay, well, what do you want it to sync? The expires, the sell by owners, off market, cancel, withdrawn. What do you want it to sync, right? We want it to sync all of that. So what it's doing is it's going down here and it's syncing with Mojo all of the information that you had before, okay, as well as the new information onto your Mojo Dialer. It's doing it for you. Now, at the end of it, all right, it says, look, it says, eight expires for sale with you know withdrawn off market cancel leads synchronized there was one lead that was updated okay so it means it probably updated that one and said that it was now active or something and took it off and got rid of it for us so we don't have to call it twice okay that's okay good now now we're almost done with the expires that you have remember you're in red x okay now what you want to do okay is just go ahead and drag these all right and put them into the archive all right that way if for some reason we ever go ahead and lose the database we have it somewhere backed up okay so drag it over to the archive all the rest of the stuff this can be all deleted so you just go ahead and control a delete yes pendings control a delete yes sold control a delete yes actives control a delete yes okay so now you're done with red x all right so you can go ahead and turn the program off itself give it a minute to go ahead and back up what it needs to back up and now you're ready to go ahead and open up mojo again which is down at the bottom open that mojo and now you're ready to dial okay now I'm going to go ahead and go over in a different module how Mojo works, okay? But basically, what you need to understand here to use Mojo, all right? I'm just going to give you uh, the basics of, of, of actually how to use it uh, in a, you know what? Um, let's, yeah, let's do that in a different video. I'll go ahead and I'll start using uh, on how to use Mojo on, an, on another video. So anyway, uh, good luck and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.